Hello everyone. In this SolidWorks tutorial, we are going to learn how to insert a library file in the SolidWorks. First of all, open a new document part and then on any plane, for example, we take front plane and sketch the profile which you want to insert in your SolidWorks library. For example, we want to uh, we want to customize we want to design a profile of variable diameter and variable thickness which are not available in the library suppose we take the inner dia as uh, one inch we take inner dia as We take inner dia as uh, one inch and and external dia is one point two inch. This is the profile of the tube which we are going to use in weldment section. So then exit and then select these two circle while saving this as a library file go to save as and then use save type as lift fit features and suppose we save it as on desktop save now before that uh, there is one more thing uh, let's rename this saved file as uh, uh, rename this save file as 1 inch OD and 0.1 inch thickness oh sorry uh, this file is still in use so we, we again retry it and try again and we save this file so suppose we have open a new file and we want to prepare a tube of uh, say weldment and structural member so here you see that uh, in ISO standard you, you choose a pipe and the size are only this much of the size suppose you want a tube of internal dia 1 inch and external dia is 1.2 inch so in that case you have to insert a new pipe for that let's uh, exit it out and save the this library file copy this library file and save it into the program files solidworks corporation solidworks then go to lang english uh, go to weldment profile suppose we want to save this file in iso pipe section and save this file it's ask you destination folder access denied just continue it and the file of the required outer dia and the thickness is saved into the pipe library now again go to the solidworks weldment structural member select standard as iso file type uh, as pipe and in size you will find that 1 inch outer dia and 0.1 inch thickness now choose this and select the group on which you apply this profile select this and ok now you see that you have prepared a pipe of the required internal dia thickness and the required external dia thickness so this is a simple way of creating a tube of any dimension in solidworks as well as you can similarly you can use to make other profile also for example if you want to uh, if you want to create a square section or different size for example uh, 1 inch by 1 inch is available in the solidworks you want to make 1.2 inch and 1.3 inch so it's a 1.2 inch out there so it's a difficult in solidworks uh, it's difficult so we'll again go to sketch front plane 
square uh, suppose we take out two rectangles uh, we have this one and exit and then use choose smart dimensioning sorry exit smart dimensioning and give it dimension as one inch one inch outer dia and 1.3 is the outer size and this type of profile is not available in the solidworks so we will exit it now select both the profiles select all the sides of the square and follow the same step as I told earlier go to save save as uh, save file as left features and uh, sorry uh, library uh, take it as desktop and uh, write it as s q u a r square 1.3 cross 1.3 and save it as and similarly follow the same step just copy it and paste it into the uh, paste it into the square pipe or square tube and save it to yeah, continue and if you want to make a square pipe of this dimension which you earlier inserted into the library just go to sketch front plane draw a line exit go to weldment structural member iso pipe in spite of that choose square tube size as this and a square tube of the required profile is created so it's a simple way of creating any desired square tube of a very long pipe or you can make a certain table or anything using this structural member. Thank you very much.